So let's investigate how to use ANOVA or analysis of variance to determine an optimal kind of performance range. So here we have an example. It comes from Montgomery's uh, SPC, intro to SPC. Uh, the idea here is that we're making uh, paper for, you know, bags made somewhere. And we think that hardwood concentration of 5, 10, 15 percent, 20 percent will change the tensile strength of the paper we're producing. This is what I called a single factor analysis of variance. Now if we wanted to look at that we could just take that data, select it with the mouse, click on the QI macros and choose box and whisker chart, and we're going to organize that, its values, we're going to organize it by columns and come up with a title here. But essentially you can see at 5%, 10%, 15 20 you can see that we have it's lower here, middle, mid-range in here, and higher there. So what we want to do with analysis of variance is we're going to take all of this data, click on the QI macros under ANOVA tools, because this is a single factor. We're only tweaking uh, just the hardwood concentration. That's one factor we can go out and take that data and run an analysis of variance. And a level of significance, and again this is 0.05 is usually standard. And I'm going to take this and squeeze this down just a little bit so we can see what we're doing. But in essence what you see here is that our p-value is very low, which says that our means are different. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 21 suggests that all of the means in here, there's some variation. And so at a, at a very high probability level, we know that, yes, these means are all different. So then we'd want to investigate what is our customer asking for, right? And so what is the bursting strength they're looking for? If they're looking for a bursting strength more around 15 or 16, then we might want to investigate these two levels. And so that's going to get us started down this path of analyzing what customers want and then coming back to it and being able to say you know let's change our process so that we can match what that customer wants and obviously here we might like to do a little bit more investigation maybe just on the 10 and the 15 and we could take those two and I could pursue this a little bit further I could do a t-test I might assume equal variances And again, when I come here at 10% and 15%, this time the means, you know, essentially we're accepting the null hypothesis that the means are the same. So if 10% hardwood concentration is cheaper, let's go with that. And so this is the kind of analysis we would do with ANOVA to be able to determine our optimal uh, materials for producing a product. In this case, it's paper for grocery bags. Now if we wanted to analyze both the means and the variability simultaneously, again we could select our data with the mouse. In the QI macros there's the stat wizard. And the stat wizard will go off and do uh, various uh, analysis. And in this case it's going to use Levine's test for uh, the variances, but it tells us the variances are the same and the means are different. So I don't have to worry about variation. I can just go right into analyzing the means. And then we might use a box and whisker chart to show some of those variabilities. And that's how easy it can be to do a single factor ANOVA in Excel using the QI macros. And you can download a 30-day trial from QIMacros.com.